year and honestly I feel like we don't pay much attention to the preseason rankings because I mean they don't mean anything yet we still have to prove ourselves and other teams have to do the same so yeah I think it's very important specifically with the offense we run um, to have veterans on the court at all times and I'm really excited to be able to uh, lead this group of girls and um, we have six freshmen out of the 11 girls playing so it'll be really different but I think experience is very important and I'm excited to bring that to the team. Preseason, there's something to be said for the preseason picks but I do think it's hard to tell so early. Um, we have a lot of young talent and new freshmen so predicting us third of course I would love and do believe that we will be the top of the conference this year so we're hopeful for that but there's a lot that can happen. Um, we'll do our best and every other team has good players as well but I'm certainly confident in our team right now. You know, every year our expectations is to win uh, our conference tournament, to win the regular season and go to the NCAA tournament. So it was that way uh, 15 years ago when I took over as a head women's basketball coach. So every year that's our expectations. Uh, as far as being picked third, eh, yeah, that's about close, about right. Chattanooga's been, been really good. They got everybody, a lot of people back. Mercer has picked second and they've got their whole starters back. Um, you know, we're relying on a lot of young people, so we'll see. But I think we got a chance to be pretty good late in the year. It may take us a while, but um, you know, our expectations are always to be playing in the NCAA tournament. Um, I mean, trying to trying to lead on the court, off the court. You know, talk to them about things that I see that they do that I was doing. If I got in trouble with like doing certain things, um, I went to the tournament twice while I was at Ole Miss, so I know how hard it was to do that. Um, even when the year, like there was my freshman year when we went the first time. Um, it felt like we were, like, at the end of the year, we didn't think we were going anywhere, and, you know, we just kept grinding, and it turned out for the best, you know, so that's one of the things I, I'm going to try to preach to them, you know. I, that's what they did, the seniors did for me when I was a freshman, so. Yeah, so starting a season out with four games on the road across the country is never going to be easy, um, but I think it will really test our toughness and effort, um, which is one thing that our team really needs to uh, sort of have going into the season and especially the SoCon tournament um, in order to be great because we're going to be a good team regardless. It's going to see what matters is if we're going to be a great team and I think starting off the season um, very strong going into San Diego and New Mexico is going to be extremely important to our success this year. I think this year we have guys that have done it a little bit more. We got some transfers that played at a high level and we got Wyatt Walker coming back. He's experienced everything. Alex Peters, he's experienced. You know, guys like myself, um, and I think we add more length for sure, more quickness, more athleticism than we've had in the past, which I think will fit this system, Coach B's system, pressing and running um, better. And then I think the biggest thing is we shoot the ball a lot better. We, we definitely have guys who can make some shots this year. This will be the first year, everybody on the team somebody that I've been a, a part of the recruiting either as an assistant or, or the head coach. So. Uh, um, I don't have any uh, excuses if we don't play well this year because these are my guys. But, uh, you know, I, I would say we, we've really worked hard in the recruiting process of identifying guys who not only fit Sanford but, but fit the system and fit in with the other pieces that we've had here. And uh, I'd say if you look at our team, uh, CC and Wyatt, which CC, Kristen Cunningham and, and Wyatt is who we've kind of built this team around. And uh, one of the biggest weaknesses we've had the first two years I was here was shooting the basketball from the three-point line. And I think you'll see the difference this year is uh, we've, we've added several guys that can really shoot that ball. And now it's going to open things up for Wyatt and, and CeCe, uh, you know, giving them opportunities they haven't had before. Those guys have been doubled a lot off, you know, CeCe off of the pick and roll, Wyatt in the post, been doubled a lot. And when you kick it out, didn't have any repercussion. And now, uh, you know, when you kick it out, you've got guys that can knock those shots down. And then, uh, so from the talent uh, standpoint, I think we've added a lot of shooting. We've also added size and length. Um, if you look at our roster, it's a different roster than, than what you saw uh, two years ago. And uh, I think that'll help us a lot on the backboard. Uh, and, and again, backboard leading to us getting out in transition. Uh, we, we, we really concentrate a lot on getting out and running and now we can get out and run and we have guys that can finish at the rim, but we also have guys that finish out there at that three-point line. And then, you know, we jump right back into our press. And uh, now that we have the pieces we have in the press, we have some more length to challenge the ball, uh, you know, put pressure on the ball in the front court. We have more length to, when that guy's throwing out of the press, to cover ground uh, and get those steals. We have more length to challenge people at the basket. 
and then when we make somebody shoot a, a quick shot, we have more length and size to go rebound the ball. So uh, I, I'm really excited where we're at right now. We have we, we still have a long way to go, um, but I think uh, as far as on target of where we wanted to be in year three, I, I think we have a team that's that's right there, and I, I think uh, Sanford fans are going to be happy to to come watch this team.